What was one strategy that I implemented in my shop when it was going nowhere to make it go somewhere fast? Also, how did the month of May go for me? Did I continue increasing in orders, conversion rate, and revenue, or was it a big flop? Make sure to stay to the end of the video for an inspirational tip to help us keep us on track for our goals. Hi guys, Lenata here. Hope you guys all have had an amazing and beautiful May and are getting ready as we inch closer and closer to arriving to Q4. Speaking of May, how did I do? Was it a success? Did it stay the same as last year or did I just completely flop? Let's take a quick look at 2023 numbers and see how I did this May. For 2023, I had a total of 6,034 visits, 52 orders, a conversion rate of 0.9%, and a total revenue of $3,561.03. As you can see from the stats from the year before that nothing was happening with my shop, it was a beautiful and wonderful increase and a great surprise to what last year did. Now, what did 2024 do for us. Let's take a look. For the month of May 2024, I had a total of 3,453 visits, which was a decrease from last year. It's kind of a trend in these last few months. Even though some of my um, stats have been increasing, visits are remarkably lower. It's it's really interesting. I wonder if there's a science to this or what's actually going on with Etsy. I have a lot less visits than I did the previous year, but I increased my orders. I had a total of 68 orders, and so that was a 31% increase. So it's keeping with the trend that we had from April and um, March where not everything increased, but my orders increased. My revenue, not too different, but I ended with $3,666 with 85 cents, which was a 3% increase. And I think last month's was a 2% increase. Other than the visits, overall everything is increasing. It's keeping kind of a slow but steady kind of trend in increasing. I still find it pretty incredible that my views have decreased a pretty large amount, meaning less people are, are looking at my shop, but yet I'm still getting more orders. I'm not gonna question it, I just want more orders. <laughs> so I'm happy with it. Um, I do notice that this year I am getting a lot of orders that are single shirt orders. Um, in comparison to last year, I feel like I had a lot more group short, group shirt orders. I can't talk today. I have been noticing in the last few months that my orders are mostly single shirts. Um, and that's okay, but it's still more people, different people, even if it's just one shirt, there's still more people ordering. So revenue increase a little bit. I still would like to have been able to see these months, at least one of these months double in comparison to last year, but there's probably several factors. I do have to say that May was a little bit of a, a rough month for me, um, just in how I've been feeling at work, personally, emotionally, I think I was uh, kind of down in the month of May. I don't know if that has helped. I've, co I've continued to design, but I definitely haven't been designing as much as I had previously. There's definitely been more days of struggling to pick up the phone and the computer and start putting out some designs, again, Every week there's still designs going up, there's still listings going up. So I am still being consistent, but I was definitely doing a lot more. Um, I don't know if that has anything to do with it. I don't know how that's gonna affect June, um, but I guess we'll see how that goes. I'm working on reminding myself about self-care, making sure that I take care of myself. If you haven't watched my last video, I discussed glimmers. It's something that means a lot to me and it has, has a place in my heart. I, I love discussing glimmers and what it means and those little sparks of joy. So if you haven't watched that video, I'm going to be linking that video down below so you can watch it. It's something that I found, even though I did it in my last video, I found myself really looking for those moments this past month. 
it has really helped me to start feeling a little bit better and just enjoying those moments and just appreciating those little sparks of joy. So now that we have seen how I did in May and how that's going for me, let's discuss a strategy that truly just made a difference in my shop. And I know I say that every time, but these really are the things that I have implemented that Simply Shauna has embedded in us and made sure that we really focus on these tips and I truly noticed a difference. Market research. I'm sure if you guys follow Simply Shauna that you guys have heard of market research and how important doing the research and making research-based designs makes a difference. So what is market research? Market research is an organized effort to gather information about the target market and customer. So what does that mean? When Shauna started talking to us about market research, it was a pretty big change in comparison to the very quick and easy downloading graphics from Creative Fabrica, which I still love and use, but just downloading graphics from there and putting them on mock-ups and making listings out of them. Um, I was definitely not doing research. I may, I may have looked up on Etsy and seen kind of like what was popular, but my go-to were those graphics, downloading, and just putting them up. That clearly did nothing for me. As I said earlier, I was going nowhere fast. I was so bad. <laughs> I was doing so bad with it. But when you take something that is a bestseller and niche it down, that is one of the best things that Shauna ever said to us. And it's something I've really been implementing, especially recently. And I've seen views, I've seen sales on new designs going up quicker, not taking so long to get those views or even to get those sales. I've been getting sales quicker on these designs I've been making. So for example, a niche that's really popular right now and actually Simply Shauna discussed it in one of her videos, which I'll be linking below, is the coquette niche. The coquette niche is very girly and pink and really cute. I'm actually really obsessed with it right now. It's such an aesthetic that is being used for so many different things. And it's also jumping into the print on demand world and a lot of coquette themed designs are going up. So what would I do with that? I would go and find a bestseller in the coquette niche and niche it down. So maybe I would make a coquette teacher shirt, a coquette nurse shirt, maybe a coquette graduation shirt. So that makes it more unique. It makes it um, different than what's out there. Instead of just doing a blank generalized coquette design, I'd niche it down to different professions. Maybe I'll make a coquette Halloween shirt, maybe a coquette Christmas shirt. We're getting close to start working on Q4, um, I would take this general niche of coquette and bows and, and girly and, and pink and all of that, and I would niche it down to a different area. Maybe coquette 4th of July, coquette sports mom. I, I mean, it, it, we really can go anywhere with it. So that's what market research has helped me. The way Shauna has helped us look at this stuff is looking to see what's popular, looking to see what are the best sellers in a general niche. And then let's make our own design in a different niche with a similar idea to what that general, let's say coquette niche shirt looked like. I love Creative Fabrica. I'm obsessed with it. I still use it for graphics and design. I also use Canva for um, their graphics. I think they're great to use but I make them unique. I don't just download them and use them as is. I make something else out of it. Depending on what I find in my research and what is popular, how can I bring that into a different area and make my designs from? So market research is something that's huge for me and I'm a big, big advocate of it. Market research, market research, market research. Also, since market research was something that Shauna taught us, if you want more information on market research, I will be linking below a playlist that Simply Shauna has on her channel 
all about market research. She has several videos in that playlist. So if you want more information, please watch those videos. She really does an amazing job teaching all that information. Now, if you guys are joining us here for the very first time or joining me on this video for the very first time, you have no idea who we are or what we do. I'm Lenata and I'm a collaborator on this channel with a group of friends where we all have Etsy print on demand shops. Most of you I'm sure know Simply Shauna. She started all of this with us. We also have myself, Shay, and Mike with sometimes my husband Manny popping in <laughs> to join us for our videos to help us out. He definitely helps, us out, helps me out with my videos. He's a videographer. This is our journey. So if you found this video to have some value and you enjoyed it, please boop the like button down below and if you haven't already and you're new please subscribe so you can follow along in our journey with us now we've reached the end i have an inspirational tip that was something that i was looking for and it popped up and it really stood out to me and so the quote that i have to leave you with today is the only limit to our realization of tomorrow will be our doubts of today that hit home for me because it's something that I definitely struggled when I was in grad school, when I was going through everything to become a therapist. And recently, it's something that has stood out for me because that's really what sometimes stops us. Now there's other aspects that stop us, maybe from designing or listing, and sometimes we're tired and we're down and, and we've had a rough week. And, it's, it's kind of the, like the last thing that you want to worry about or work on. But also there's this aspect of doubting ourselves, doubting our ability to be able to accomplish these things, doubting that we will be lucky enough or that the, all the effort that we're putting in will amount to something and, and will work out for us. And the only thing that that does is stop us from realizing our potential and realizing our goals. And I want us to write down in the comment section below what your doubts are. Let those doubts float away. We can acknowledge them and we can let them go. We need to focus on what we have control over. And there's so much that we have control over and our actions, we have control over our actions. And if we change, how we take on our days, how we take on this business and this journey, changes will happen. I am definitely um, a testament to the fact that I kept going, I kept going, but I wasn't really doing the necessary things. And the doubts that came with that was, oh, this isn't gonna work for me, but I had to turn it around. I had to look at myself and had some, have some insight and have some awareness of what I was doing wrong, what I was doing differently, and make those changes. So my doubts, the only thing that they would have done was make me quit before I started to make some really good changes. And then I wouldn't be where I am right now um, and continuously growing with it. Doubts, they just stop us from accomplishing what we can accomplish. And so I am here to follow along in this journey with you guys. And please write your doubts in the comments below when it comes to this journey and what sometimes kind of gets you down in, in, in those feelings. And let's share those things and let's release them because we really are capable of accomplishing everything and anything that we wish to accomplish. Thank you for joining me on this journey. I really appreciate all of your comments and, and, and all of your positive words and, and, and just uplifting attitudes that you guys have when you guys join us, whether it be on the live premieres or the comments on our videos, they really do mean a lot to us. And I really do feel like we've established a community here, which is what's really important to us. We want to establish this community and having this community together where we can cheer each other on we really feel it when we see you guys' comments and we are so appreciative of it. And I'm so appreciative of you guys also sharing things like my last video, sharing your glimmers. It was beautiful. I loved reading all of your glimmers and it just makes me 
feel connected to all of you guys. So thank you guys for sharing your journey and also following along with us. So remember, going forward in this coming month, as well as during our Etsy journey, let's make sure to release doubts. And if you haven't already, make sure to implement market research into your design strategy. Until next time, bye guys.